Six, by the Ducati brothers, a very important family of this city. Uh, it was a dream of Adriano Ducati that was a physics. So at the beginning, uh, uh, they found a little business in the center city that produced electrical product, no bikes. This is the first Ducati production. You can see the radio, a camera, the first electric machine in Italy, and so on. The important thing is the fact that in a few years, all these products were sold in Europe. So the company became very important in a few times. For this reason, the Ducati family decided to move the factory from the center city here in Borgo Paligari because they need more space for the production. It was in 1935. In 1940, Ducati had 7,000 workers. It was the second factory in Italy after Fiat. A very important and big reality for our economy. Then, during the Second World War, in 1944, the company was abandoned. So until 1946, there was no production. In 1946, the Ducati brothers asked for state financial support in order to start the production again. The government uh, said yes and started to administrate this company. This company remained under the state direction for a long time, since 1946 until 1984. And the new administration in 1946 decided to start producing an engine. Together with, the, with this kind of product. I want to show you this engine, please follow me. Here you can see the first mechanic uh, uh, product in Ducati. In 1946, the new administration decided starting to produce this kit. They just produced 10 in the engine. The tough Italian people connect on their disciples. Behind you, there is a very nice example. This case had a great success. In spite of the war, in spite of the bad situation in Italy, uh, Ducati sold 100,000 of these engines, only in Italy, because this engine could cover 90 kilometers with one liter of petrol. So you can imagine, it was a great for Italian people. And with this engine, in 1952, uh, they assembled the first bike, Ducati, that you can see here. This is the first bike of our story. Okay, uh, this company was administrated by the government until uh, 1984. In 1952, they assembled the first bike. This administration decided to start uh, uh, to, to go on only with the mechanics production, only with the bikes uh, in 1959. Since then, Ducati produced only bikes. The last four years of this, of this administration, 1980-1984, it was the worst period, I think, of Ducati's story. Because during these four years, Ducati produced something like 1,000 bikes in a year, to give you the idea of the problems. Then, thanks to another very important family in Italy, they are the um, Castiglioni brothers, the owners of Envia Musta and Kajira Burger, they both, both also Ducati in 1984. Thanks to them, this bike has a single goal. Okay, we have um, 100cc aluminium the components. With this prototype named Siguro, the great Italian rider Sante Cicelli, which you can see in that video. He won 46 world record in Monza. He began uh, this is a, a picture of Taglioni. However, uh, there is a graphic a representation of the desmodromic distribution. Okay, the desmodromic distribution is a mechanical competition organized by the American police force. They need to renew its bikes. Okay, we lost this competition because this bike uh, has many problems. First of all, the stability. It will be maneuvered because it's too heavy, 300 kilograms. But this engine is very important for our future technical development. Here we have for the first time the cylinders with the hell of 90 degrees. We still use today this system, okay? Okay, let's go to some distribution. For the first time, the tubular frame. Even the, tub even the frame that we, we still use today was projected by the by Father Daniel, okay? And now I want to show you the first two important victories of our story in this book. So Mark and Bruno Spagiari got the, fact, the first and second place in Imola. Uh, and this was the first important victory of our story. And we present and we present and we produce a replica of this bike on December 2005, just 2000, sold only on internet. And behind you, there is a symbol, I think, for all the cargo This is in an Andrew Sport. 
the first Ducati that won a World Championships in 1978, the Tourist Trophy for Mile of Man with Mike the Bike, great Mike Cable, okay, in 1978. Now I want to show you something uh, of our, of the racing date so was an important year, not only for the win of our story, no one realized this new project until 1984. When the Castigoni brothers bought this company, their first realization was the new bike projected by Taglione in 1978. And this is the bike. Thanks to this model, Ducati started to sell again and to produce, of course. But uh, also thanks to this model, Marco Lucinelli won in Daytona in 1986. And thanks to this victory, our name became famous in the world. You can see that it, all the bikes of this period have this symbol, that is the symbol of Kajima, okay, near to the logo of Ducati, because they were the same authors. We began the situation. He realized this dream by projecting this prototype. 1851, this is the first super bike of our story. With this bike, Grandma Roche won the first World Championship in 90. Then, this man, named Massimo Corti, developed the second super bike. The 888 and Doug Bowen born in 1991 and Raymond Roche in 1992. With this 50cc is the engine, 200 kilometers an hour is the air speed. Very, very solid, very heavy, and uh, I think it's not so simple to ride a bike like this. You can imagine the grip. Okay, yeah, and you. There is uh, the only Italian bike with an Italian rider that won two editions of the end. And now I want to show you my favorite bike. This is 1960. We have to say more. Okay, this bike was designed by Massimo Tamburini. The engine was developed by Massimo Board again. Eight World Championship, eight construction prizes, four with one of the greatest car Fogarty, and this one. Okay, here you can see the last picture is a super bike. 98, we won with the last in 1960 with Fogarty. And Fogarty again, 99 with the 996, great Troy Bayless. 2000, 2001, 2002. We started in 2003 with the new Superbike, the 999. Neil Oxon won in 2003. We are... Okay, this is the original bike that Caviossi had in Catalonia, Barcelona Circuit when in uh, 2003, for the first time, Ducati won a race, MotoGP. It was the first year that we participated in this uh, uh, GP, and uh, everybody of the team explained to us that we don't have any possibility. They said that we had a computer experimental bike, and uh, so we were all shocked with this. For this reason, we have this bike and not the others, simply because we were more shocked in 2003 of the results of Capirossi. We won three races. It was incredible for us to do this. My personal dream is to see Valentino one day on this bike, because I, I love this man. But uh, I know that this is a good dream, my dream, because it's too expensive for us. So, okay. Yeah, Brussels is great and uh, it's cheap. <laughs>